Lucas Media. So Shakur did a part two with uh, Sean Cotton Say Cheese. He, Sean Cotton asked about um, Canelo and Bud. And Shakur said that he does pick Bud to beat Canelo. Now, rumor has it they was going to fight. And honestly, I didn't want to see the fight. But if Bud were to go ahead and fight, then of course I'm going to ride with Bud. I do think that Bud is a talented fighter, a more talented fighter. But obviously Canelo, you know, he got that, that huge weight advantage. Now, Shakur says that he feels that Bud has the better ring IQ, which again, I agree with. And he's just more talented in every way, which is true. But I don't want to see, I don't, I don't want to see that fight. I want to see Canelo fight David Benavidez. That's what the people really want to see. Now, there's also been talks of Boots and Crawford fighting. A lot of people want to see that fight. Shakur said he really doesn't want to see that because he he really cool with both people. And he said that him and Boots came up in the amateurs together. Now, honestly, I think that that fight needs, if it were to fight, if it were to happen, still needs to marinate. I don't think a lot of people know about Boots yet. And honestly, I don't understand why. Because he was with Showtime, PBC, Steven Espinoza. And I believe Steven Espinoza was either his manager or advisor. He had an exclusive deal. But Boots should be known. People don't really know about Boots like that. Yeah, in Philly and certain parts of the East Coast. But you don't hear the casual fans talking about Boots. Boots should be a superstar. He should be up there with Shakur, Tank, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. But I, like I said, I don't know what the PBC was doing. That's why I'm glad he did go over the match room because you he I, I want to see these fighters get all the promotion that they can. And I think that y'all should too. So shout out to Boots for being over there. But I don't think that that fight's gonna happen. But Shakur did say that he can't really pick a he can't pick a winner because again he cool with both. Um also Sean asked him about his critics saying he don't have any power. And he talks about how he put people down. But one thing that he does need to improve on is finishing. And honestly, when it comes to boxing, either you're going to dominate somebody by um, constantly hitting them, the ooh and ah the fans, or you're going to knock them out. And a lot of times you see these fighters, you know, the, uh, people like Shakur, the boxers, they'll, you know, they'll hit punch a little bit, get out. And the ca- again, this is the casual fan. People like us, I like to see the sweet signs of boxing. But the casual fan, they ain't trying to pay 70, $75 for to see that. So that's just something that all fighters have to realize. Again, he talked about Ryan Garcia and he, basically that he should be banned for life. You know, he talked about that again. And I agree. I agree. But I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about part two. Tell me what y'all think.